Hello my friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with some hot foiling cards for today's video. Waffle Flower just had their April release and there are some new hot foil plates. They had also released some back in January, I think that's when it was, and I'm using one of the sentiment ones. So when it comes to hot foiling, it depends on the machine you're using. I'm using the Spellbinders Glimmer hot foil machine. It's the only one I've got, so it's the only one I'm familiar with. But it depends on the machine you're using, your die cut machine, etc., etc. There's tons of info out there, especially now with more companies doing hot foiling and the plates and all the things. So much more info. But my biggest thing is experiment. <laughs> like follow the directions that are provided, but then also experiment because it just, it depends on your machine and all the little ins and outs. But anyway, I'm using this organic floral hot foil plate. So this is a full like A2 sized plate. And I have the plate on my Glimmer hot foil machine. And then I had the uh, gold Glimmer hot foil and you put the pretty side facing the plate. And then for this one, I was using Hammer Mill cardstock. This one foils really, really nicely. It's been harder to get because as soon as the card makers realize a product is like a good product, <laughs> it sells out everywhere. <laughs> Thankfully, I had some on hand before people discovered it worked for hot foiling. I didn't know that either. So I have all of that and then... Yeah, I'm just kind of experimenting. I, d I didn't include all the footage. <laughs> Some of my experiments were not successful. Again, you just, you got to fiddle. So I did the hammer mill. I also foiled this onto some of Simon's black glossy cardstock. Glossy cardstock for whatever reason foils like a dream, like chef's kiss. I actually didn't need the my little cardstock shim in this. I ended up it ended up being a little too much pressure. However, I still went with it, still used the piece because it won, it was still gorgeous. But yeah, black, um, any glossy cardstock, it doesn't have to be black. It black glossy, there's white glossy, I'll have links to both. I'm kind of tempted to try like possibly a hollow cardstock. Like it would foil great. It would just be really intense. <laughs> So anyway, I was having great success. I did also try using my leftover pieces of foil with, um, I have the Pink Fresh Solid Hot Foil Plate. I know Waffle Flower has one as well. This is a great way to use up um, the extra foil pieces. I still struggle with this. If people have tips or tricks that they've had more success, I just, yeah, I need to find that perfect like sandwich combo whatever to get great results however like with the solid hot foil plate I do know it helps to let it warm up longer that's what I was doing here and the nice thing is when you're using the solid foil plate you can like peel it back a little bit and if you didn't get a good like foiled impression you can run it through again which is what I did here it still wasn't perfect however I made use of all these pieces this organic um, floral collection from Waffle Flower. You can see there's a stamp there on the top right of my screen. I'm going to use the stamp on the inside of the cards, but there's a stamp set. There is coordinating wafer dies and there's actually a coordinating stencil set. I don't have the stencils, but I'll link to them as well because that you can add some fun color. But what I did is I just took the wafer dies that coordinate and I die cut all the little floral pieces out of these panels that weren't that had, you know, oopsies or just didn't foil perfectly, whatever. So I die cut all the little pieces that I could and ended up with a little dish there. These are my little, my little doggy pinch bowls. They're meant for like spices and things um, that I got at a local home decor store. But yeah, I just saved all those pieces. I didn't end up using them for this video because life just went sideways as is tradition. But I saved all those little pieces. So it was perfect. So then for my sentiments, I used a combination of the oversized Hello Hot Foil Plate, which love. I've said this in other videos. I 
love waffle flour, waffle flowers oversized sentiment sets. I've used them in a bunch of videos. I don't know. There's something about this like great big sentiment. I love the font. Um, so I used the oversized Hello Hot Foil Plate and the oversized Hello Coordinating Wafer Die that die cut it out. I foiled it onto the black glossy cardstock. And then I also used just the oversized Hello Wafer Die that I die cut from white glossy cardstock. And then I'm using the Companion uh, Oversized Hello stamp set here. And I have just a piece of white cardstock in my Misty. I use my anti-static powder tool. And then I just stamp the little phrase, my friend, onto this cardstock with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And then I coated it with clear embossing powder. And I'm going to melt that with my heat tool. And it's just going to make the sentiment nice and glossy. So it kind of goes with that glossy black cardstock. Plus it just prevents me from smearing it because I'm really bad for that. So I'd done that. And then while I had my Misty out, I have my one of my white card bases plus just a panel of white cardstock. And this is where I'm going to use this uh, organic floral background stamp. And I was going to ink it up in just Simon's Fog ink, like just a nice light gray. But I couldn't resist using the Golden Locks ink from Simon because it just tied in the gold. So it makes it a little bit intense for the inside of a card, but I love it. There's something about this organic floral, especially stamped in this color. It made me think of like, like vintage wallpaper, you know? And I just, I was like, ooh, now I want vintage wallpaper. Anyway, <laughs> I inked up the stamp with that Golden Locks ink, stamped on the inside of the card base, and then I stamped it onto this white... Uh, panel because that's going to go inside the black card base. Once those backgrounds were stamped, I took another sentiment from the oversized Hello stamp set and I lined that up on the inside of the card. And then I stamped it multiple times with the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink just to kind of intensify that sentiment a bit since the background's pretty busy. And I did that with the panel as well. So once I've got everything stamped, everything's foiled, um, my sentiments, like those big hello sentiments, I had die cut multiple times and adhered the layers together to give them dimension. Because just like Laura Baston says, dimension is life. <laughs> Actually, she sings it. Like I've said, she sings it and it's fabulous. I'm not going to sing it, especially when I'm doing this voiceover. Like my voice is just kind of a little scratchy and, you know, all the fun things. So I will not torture you all. <laughs> <laughs> so anywho, those fabulous foiled panels, I trimmed down a little bit and then the white one I matted with black cardstock, the black glossy one I matted with white cardstock, and then I've got my great big oversized hello sentiments that I just, seriously, I love these. Like they just, they you can see it, they take up an entire A2 card. It's fabulous. So have those all adhered together. And then my little sentiment strips, I just adhered with um, a foam square and a little bit of craft tacky glue. And then once that's adhered into place, I can adhere my card front to my card base. And then, um, of course, I'm going to add some bling. You don't need to with cards like this because the foil just, it just, I don't know, it, there is nothing else that that comes close like heat embossing you know with gold embossing powder etc is not the same like hot foiling is the only way to get this foiled effect or using things like um there's the different pastes and all that stuff but you know what i mean anyway i'm still gonna add bling because i have every imaginable combo of bling so i use studio Cadia arctic breeze pearls so white pearls and then golden crystals one of my all-time faves, as well as the Studio Cadia Onyx Crystals, another fave. So I've got white, gold, and black bling to tie it all together because, again, if you guys watch my videos, you know I love me some white, gold, and black cards. I've got how many dozen videos now? I'll link to that playlist at the end of this video if for some reason you've missed it, and you can see just how much I love this combo because it's classic. And when it's done in foil, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like foil and glossy cardstock and bling and I have a black envelope and a gold envelope and life is just great with these cards and my camera like loses its mind that's one of the hardest things is like trying to film it trying to take pictures of it because it's just like 
it's just too amazing for the camera to pick up. <laughs> so anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed. This video is also part of a blog hop. I'll have that info in my blog post uh, linked below the video because there's going to be a bunch of fabulous inspiration from several other designers. So you can check that out below if you're interested. And then of course, I will link to all the supplies I used. So you can check that out below. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping, commenting, all of it. I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.